electrical property. See in this we try to classify the solids on the basis of their electrical property. Now on this basis the solids are of three types conductors, semiconductors and insulators. Now conductors are the solids in which what we find that they, there is they show a very high electrical conductivity or they allow the passes on passing of the uh, electricity through them. Now they have very high electrical conductivity of the range of 10 to the power 7 ohms inverse meter inverse and any solid which is having this this much value of the electrical conductivity is said to be a good conductor. Now in these solids their conductivity decreases with the increase in the temperature because resistance increases. Second category of solids are called semiconductors. These are the solids in which already the electric conductivity is of a very moderate or a feeble uh, low value. It, they are feebly uh, uh, they conduct electricity and that is of the range of 10 to the power 4 to 10 to the power minus 6 ohms inverse meter inverse. Now in these solids when heated their electrical conductivity increases because more number of electrons are able to cross the energy barrier. The last category is of insulators which are, are actually having very very low therm electrical conductivity which is almost as negligible and that is why they normally we say they doesn't allow the, uh, the passing of the electricity through them. Their thermal, their electrical conductivity is of the range of 10 to the power minus 20 to 10 to the power minus 10 ohms inverse meter inverse. So this is what we have the three types of solids on the basis of their electrical property. Now let us see these uh, solids on the basis of the band theory as per the band diagrams. 